Hey all, are you struggling with mythics? Are your keys constantly being downgraded? Are you being told that your DPS isn't good enough? Or that you don't know the tactics? Gonna do my 10 halls of atonement and record it. And I'm gonna walk you through as much as I possibly can as I'm doing it. The main things to keep in mind is your interrupts, if you've got them. Stuns, if you've got them. And it's about learning when to use them and at the right times. Um, like I say, I'm going to talk through this dungeon run as much as I possibly can. And hopefully it helps all of you that are going to watch it. If it does, please hit that like button. Hit the follow button. Uh, I stream every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Um, you got any questions? Come join me in stream. Chuck it in the chat and I'll answer as much as I can. Okay. Here we go, just a general thing. Uh, Warlock in destruction spec. My talents that I'm running is Flash Over, Reverse Entropy, Dark Pact for an extra defensive, Cataclysm, Dark Fury to reduce the cooldown of my mass stun. Uh, Reign of Chaos, because that's really good for packs. Chuck out your Infernal and then just dump as many shards as you can. Uh, Dark Soul Instability for extra crit when it's needed. Um, the Legendary I'm currently going to run is Wilfred's Wrist Wraps of Superior Summoning. Um, basically, for every soul charge you spend, it reduces the cooldown of Infernal by 1.5 seconds. Now, try not to hold your cooldowns on packs of trash. You've got to learn when to time it. So you can get them back up for when you come into a boss. Okay, here we go. Let's get a group together and uh, we'll head in. Here we go then guys. Got into, got a group together for Halls 10. Um, we may or may not time it, but it's still a good idea because it shows you all the affixes, including the prideful guy that spawns in. And really... Just when to interrupt and when to have a look at what you need to do in certain dungeons. Um, so here we go. I'm going to try and talk through it as much as possible. Um, that way I can give you as much information as I can. Um, yeah, so here we go. Wait for, oh, everyone's ready. I'll do a pull of 8 seconds for the Demon Hunter tank. One thing to keep in mind when you're trying to pug a raid is really check people's Raider I.O. Because that will give you a good idea as to um, people's ability and how high they've got up. I'm going to put my interrupt pet on. I've got my oil, my food and my flask on. Hopefully everybody else. Right, cleave on these two. Until the demon hunter decides to pull extras. Nice, someone's taking care of the explosions for now. So, just nuke these guys down, they're nothing major. Put immolate on an explosion if you can believe it. Right, the bears. The bears need to be focused first because they will enrage and enlarge and, and do a lot of damage. So, as you can see, Cataclysm, Immolate, get that going until Havoc's back up. Target the other bear. And then just keep your cleave going until you can nuke them out. That monk's DPS is unbelievable. Like, it's brilliant. I love it. Do we have a venti on us? I don't think. Yeah. I don't nice. think so, Ken. Okay, Cataclysm again until Cleave, Cleave's up, spam some shards. Oh, I missed that interrupt there. Get that interrupt because it helps save nice. just random damage on the tank, which will help keep him alive. Should be going in for the bears unless he's going to pull them all together. Cataclysm is not up, get some emulate rolling out. Okay, Cataclysm. Cleave. And I'm focusing on the bears to get them down as fast as I can. 
so they don't become an issue. You can hear the other guys in my Discord managed to get my healer from the guild in. Oh, here we go, see? Mass stun, because they've enlarged. I've used my stun, but they've already come out of it. So as you can see, in Mythic Dungeons, it really is about being reactive as much as knowing the place. It's good that we got people that are keeping an eye on those explosives. This could be a big pull, so if it is, I'm going to use my Infernal. Uh, misused um, my Interrupt there, so I've got to wait now for that to cool down. If you get that debuff, just get away from people because it will spread to them as well. Keep this DPS going. Right. Ooh, Pride Fall. Pride. Okay, he will put. See, now as you can see, I have just gone straight into using all my cooldowns. Because we need to. Oh. I seeded and bubbled. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, shit. Tempting. It's hard, but the tank pulled extra. He obviously didn't see the Pride Fall getting spawned in. So, uh, res me if you can, Ken. Uh, I can do that shortly. Ah, there no. you are. Rush it out. No need. I don't need, just, just go there. It really wouldn't be worth it to, to, uh, to see Arya there. We had it. And you still got the buff. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not. Fair I knew it would. I missed out on my food buff now because I pushed a button. So now it's a case of wait until I've got a couple of seconds. Oh, ah, what a waste of a cleave. Now, as you can see, I'm spamming my Rain of Fire whenever I can on two targets, just because of my Legendary. It reduces my cooldown of my Infernal for 1.5 seconds, I believe, for every shard spent. So, there are some spells that you really need to interrupt, but in the meantime... You want to interrupt as much as you can to reduce damage on the tank or anyone affected, targeted by those spells. So cleave again, everyone. As you can see, just interrupt whenever you can. Because again, it helps mitigate that damage. You need to try and angle yourself so that cross doesn't hit anyone because it's a lot of damage for people to take and the healers to heal through. Every time you kill one of these pridefuls, you get um, a buff 
which is speed and damage increase. Use a trinket to improve crit. Well, cleave is active. Watch out for quaking, just sidestep it and carry on attacking. Luckily, whoever's taking care of those explosives are well clicked onto it. Oh, big pull now. Big pull. I knew it. Double pulls. Triple pulls. Bombs. We have bombs. Tranquility is the big. Bomb in the middle. Bomb at the back. Mass done. Mass done, great. Just make sure they can't catch the tank, because if they catch the tank, he's dead. Oh, nice. Oh, he made the, he made the mistake of going back. Oh. Somebody ran straight up to this one. The other part of Mythics that everyone needs to keep in mind is like, you know, sometimes it is better to wait for a res, other times it's not, so just spawn back in. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, I mean it's at the beginning, so the spawn's nice and close. Another interrupt there. So as you can see, it got messy, but because it's so close to respawn, it's not really a massive issue. Use my Covenant ability for Mass Drain Stun for AoE damage. Stun. Say now if you can work in tandem like we just did right there. Nice, nice, nice. You can out stun engage. and you know hex and whatever else and onto what you need to. So using everything I've got here to bring out that burst damage. Watch out for the red stuff on the floor. You've got to stay inside this ring. Otherwise, I think it's a fear. I don't know. I've never got feared by it. Oh, that could have hurt more. Monk. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, Danny. Of course you can. Okay, so still spamming Rain of Fire to reduce that cooldown of my Infernal. Using your trinkets, anything else you can proc to help damage. Trying to keep my dots up and dodging the red shit. Using the Covenant ability again. Lower health, the more damage it does on drain life. No, thank you, Princess. I'm good. Okay. What, Daniela? Yes, it's fine. Get your cleave going. I don't think we're going to time it looking at it. Oh. Wasted my interrupt. Using cleave as soon as it's available. Oof, that was close. Okay, there's many different ways of doing this and skipping this, but it all depends on which way the tank's going to pull it. Because we've got two packs over there at the moment. I think we're trying to do the scope. Pull. Okay, just run with us. Okay, lots of people mess up on this boss. You'll bring out ads, nuke down the ads, avoid the blood pools on the floor. When Curse of Stone activates, that is when whoever's got the debuff, big ring around you, you need to stand on top of the ads so it destroys them so you don't end up with multiple packs. As you can see, I've got them to as many ads as I can. They're dead. Use your defensives to mitigate some of that damage. Unfortunately, because the ads were spread like that, I could not get them all. So I had to get as many as I could, which is just a three from one side. Sorry mate, I was trying to get those stones. Yeah. Please get the 
confirm something below. There you go. At least I got a half train train on. Off. It's fine. Let's see if we can down him now. Okay, it's a stone on a bloody cleave. Fine, fine. Just, 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 He's doing it with line of sight. Yeah, that's fine. Best way to do it. We, can't, we, can't, we don't really have a lot of space in this fight. He's a mass stun. Here we go, another pride fall. Nuke him down, watch out for. Uh, it'll stun you if you get hit by that red stuff, like that just happened to me. Should be a line of sight back out here, hopefully. Nope. I'm tanking. Mass done. Okay, so this boss, if you get fixated by a ghost, you need to get behind one of these pillars just until he runs into it, because then he'll die. Don't know what was going on there with line of sight, but something weird was happening. Feels like I'm the only one interrupting. I haven't looked at the, uh, the inter interrupt meters, so I can't tell you. Looks like the demon hunter is pulling some interrupts as well. Good. This is in cold out of the world. It's fine, I have it. Now you want to spam this trash as quick as you can. Because this ad in here takes health off them to spawn in ads. And if you can kill it, some of the trash before he does, you're all good.
Vultures on the ground. Okay, so you can see I got the first interrupt on that guy, and now it's just a case of cleaving him down. So you can see, like, my DPS is good in parts and crap in others while I'm waiting for cooldowns. Yeah, definitely gonna struggle with the percentage. Um, I suppose we're going to kill the So if somebody says to you uh, DPS is crap, right it's back. not just down to your damage. Well, you yeah, have. Oh, hero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this boss, you need to watch out for those statues because he'll fling them around like you wouldn't believe, and it's really annoying. Um, then there'll be a part where you'll bring Thanks four in. You need to get in the gap. And uh, wait for the statues to move out, and then you need to get in line of one of the four statues because he does a soaking mechanic that does loads of damage if it's not done. Oh my god. She's getting hit by everything right now. Cabal. Excellent. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Steve. Remember to stand front? Use defensives for it because it'll help the healer out. Yeah, got this one now. And then it's just a rinse and repeat of the exact same mechanics, guys. Oh, oh no, I got hit by it. That's going to hurt. Cheap death. It just shows how important how, how important it is you that you uh, you position yourself on the statues after the after the uh, the four statue uh, knockback. The area damage is more than I can handle. Yeah, it's because you're not a shaman, Ken. Fuck you. Nice, because... Got to use this bat to get back for percentage now. Yeah, yeah. bat straight back and then just go in for pull the first pack or two. So we're missing a bit of percentage, so now, yeah, we've come back. Yeah, Tank's on his way. Right over here, we, be able to. Uh, we, should, we need to kill both of them, just so now. Get that interrupt. Oh, just shot. Just hook skull down. Oh, debuff. Get away from Zivu so he doesn't get messed up by it. And that is a 10 complete, ladies and gentlemen. There you go, my friend. Your 10 key is done. That's it, and we've made a pretty good video. We messed up a few times, um, yeah. but we managed to claw it back. That was brilliant.
<laughs> yeah, I did that as well, don't worry. <laughs> but as you can see, you can make mistakes in a mythic dungeon and you can pull it back, but you need a good team together. And the best way of getting a good team, yes, I've got my healer from the guild who is an excellent healer, but it's checking people's Raider IO and seeing what keys they've done and their item level. Because even when you're pugging a group and you say checking Raider IO because you're doing a 10 key and people that have only done sevens apply and the Raider IO shows it. Um, if you don't know what Raider IO is, um, if you don't know what Raider IO is, it's an add on that you can download um, that gives you a ranking on what you've done in the raid and the highest mythic you've done and timed and how well you timed it. Um, the other issue is I forgot to use Hero on the first boss. Yeah. I'm not used to being the guy with Hero. Oh, just me when I'm on my share I forget to use it all the time as well. Not even blaming you. Yay! Anima! I got Anima for my first time 10. Woohoo! Yeah, the like. effort was worth it just for that Anima. Okay, guys, I'll do some more um, videos on the other Mythic Dungeons. Um, please, if you found this interesting, funny, enjoyable in any way, shape, or form, um, hit that like button, hit that follow. As I've said before, I stream every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Friday and Saturday are Guild Run Nights. Wednesday is, I'll leave that up to the viewers. If you want to pug a raid, we can pug a raid. If uh, you want to do dungeons, we can do dungeons. Whatever. I'm up for it. Um, okay. So I'll catch you soon. Thanks again.